Well, you want to sell that house today, and there's a lot to do to get your house ready to sell today. Here with us on day two of our real estate series is home renovator and designer Shay Milheiser with what you need to do before putting your house on the market. Hey, Shay, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. One of the biggest things you can do, one of the most important things you can do is have a welcoming front door. We all know kind of doors get the weather. They're the first things people see. So kind of sometimes they get a little bit washed. What I would say, get it stained, get it clean, get it sealed, get it looking nice. Kind of get all that grime that's on your fixtures around the door. Get it looking better. And what, what's nice is it's easy. All you got to do, you got to sand your door a little bit. Right. I would recommend taking it off the hinge, sand it down with like 150 grit sandpaper, uh -huh. and, and you just stain it. And here's what's counterintuitive about the whole thing is that mm -hmm. people don't want to spend any more money on their house because they're trying to sell it, right? Right. right? right. But you know what's nice? This is easy. This is a DIY kind of thing. Literally, if you are staining your door, you just get a little bit on that piece of cloth and you just stain it. Look how easy that is. Do maybe two and you coats. change the handles too. Bring out the green. Yeah. Bring out the green. This makes it look a little bit more modern. Mm -hmm. okay. Just compare this to you. Look at this. It's beat up. It's got paint on it. Right. Even just cleaning. If you can't change your fixtures, at yep. least just clean them. Okay, what about the kitchen? Yeah, so kitchen. We, kitchens and bath even. Our tile gets kind of gross, right? We don't notice it because we get so used to it, but our guests come over. Mm -hmm. right. Tile gets discolored. So what I always say is clean your grout. There's two options. You can clean it. You can use kind of like a solution like this. Right. Leave it on there for 10 minutes. Let it sit. Then you scrub it off with a brush. Or you can just paint it. You can actually use a little grout pen like this. Uh -huh. Press it on there and you can put white right back in the A little the cheating and if there's yeah. blood stains, get the blood stains off. Exactly. Right? I do recommend that. Yes, good. Hopefully there hasn't been a murder in your house. Just, you gotta <laughs> know. Gotta make sure. This definitely looks a lot better than that. Yes. Okay, what about light bulbs? All right, so one of the biggest, one of my biggest pet peeves is when you see lights of all different colors in the house. You've got yellow lights in the wall, you've got daylights in the, like, in the lamps and things like that. No, you can't do that. You gotta have them even. I say pick one and go with it. If you're gonna go with a bright white, have everything in your house bright white for when you're showing it. If you're going to go with a little bit more of a yellow tone, have everything in the house an even Something yellow tone. Something you probably tone. wouldn't notice, but you it does make a difference. Especially when it's your house, but when you're walking into a house for the first time, it draws your attention right. away from what they should be looking at. Okay. All right, next you want to organize your bathroom, yes. get some caddies. Yes, and this is more of a convenience for people who are actually selling their home. You know, realistically, when you're selling a home, you want it to feel maybe like 60% lived in, but realistically, we're 100% living in your home. So I say keep caddies in the shower, keep baskets in your living room that way when you have a showing coming up mm -hmm. just throw everything in there and either tuck it into a closet or put it under your sink have, have you seen Shay this turn a house into had the getting the asking price by doing these little things all these things I just recommended make a huge difference you want it to present well you want it to feel clean and you mm -hmm. want it to feel like the exact lifestyle people who are buying your home want yeah you want your house clean and clutter free exactly okay. thanks Shay all right good job Shay all right, meanwhile, we'll continue our real estate series tomorrow. We're going to take a look at what financial steps to do to take, uh, to take ownership of your home.